Hey, hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another one of the field reviews in Wall. Um, today, uh, we're going to be making shouts out to the Fans Toys version of Silverbolt and the um, Zeta Toys version of Silverbolt. Um, I thought I'd pick these two up because, first of all, the story goes, um, I was invested actually in Zeta Toys first. Um, I had actually not the whole set of Zeta. I had two. When they first started coming out for sale, I had the um, Firefly Zeta toys and the, and I can't remember their actual names. Now I might post them later, the actual names of these. Um, the the Firefly and the Air Raid. And I had them from Zeta first. And I, um, I decided um, to sell them because I felt like fans toys when I first saw theirs man and, and I tell you the truth when I first saw this guy <laughs> um, this guy blew me away um, as far as how he looked the red in his chest the look in his face um, just his this his sheer photo presence um, made me say hey you know uh, let me go ahead and just roll with with uh, fans toys on this but what happened later was after I started you know do, as, you, as you know fans toys slowed down they slowed down with their production of their aerial bots and then I saw the metallic version of Zeta toys um, the metallic versions of these I said those metallic versions look pretty good and actually when the one the copies I had weren't so bad they didn't have even the new heads it, it, maybe I, I, I might show you later about the the, the Firefly, the Slingshot, not the Slingshot, but the Firefly and Airway, their heads were Zeta heads. But then they made them more G1 accurate later. And that shows you that I really you know, bought them when they first came out. And I sold them. I used them in a couple of animations and I sold them. But then I got them all back. I bought the whole set just uh, maybe six months to a year ago. Not even that long, really, about six, well, within the last six months or so of... Uh, I think it was last summer actually it probably was six to 12 months ago for a very good price i think for the set 360 dollars from the show z and right now i have two of course i have fan stories all the ones that came out a uh, slingshot um air raid um uh, and uh uh yeah i don't know it's not firefly it's the what's the other one um, air raid and um uh, Ice Man, I can't remember the other one's name. Skydive, Skydive's the one. Um, and now I have um, all of the Silver Bolt. I mean, all of the all of the aerial bots for Zeta, and they can combine it to Superior. Superior. I figured we're gonna make wait a while for Fan Swing's version of Superior to complete. So, and I think my guess was right. So, you know, I haven't heard no recent news about them at all. So we're gonna get into them, the look of them, the feel of them. Um, what I how I feel about Silverbolt altogether, um, and I can even explain that now. To me, Silverbolt was the wisest of the Aerobots, and not just the wisest of the Aerobots. I always thought he was a, one of the wisest Autobots. Um, he always seemed to have wisdom. He always seemed to think carefully about what he's doing. Of course, he had a few heights, kind of humbled him, um, but he always seemed to think for the best of the of all. Brave came braver after he overcame his fear of heights, but brave to a fault wise to a fault and he got the um area bots under control um as far as leading them and making them understand why it's important to support the autobot cause so let's get more into the look of this section and that was a pretty much uh you know showing you some pre thoughts about w why i have two of these um i probably will have upcoming videos stating the other two two skydives two air rays and then so on and so forth see how these things do okay Okay, so yeah, as far as the look is concerned, I'm gonna cover this more in um, my upcoming 
Um, when I transform them, and I'll, I'll cover the, the, the airplane modes as well, and I'll probably do another stop motion with them as far as transforming them, something real quick, nothing fat, nothing lengthy. Um, I'm trying to get these videos down. But uh, when you look at Silverbolt, and real quick, um, <laughs> fan stories, I probably should start with the other one first, but this one looks fantastic. Um, this one, um, the face, um, the blue eyes, the even... Um, temple on it. It, it it's 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 outstanding the way um they really put this guy together that transfer transforms into the jet mode along whatever type of jet jet he is he transforms into it and to me even though you know some parts are as far as the look is concerned for some parts a little you know you know not so leg like um Backpack's okay. It doesn't bother me. It's a little pointy. Uh, if they could found a way to get rid of this pointy part and maybe folded it up more, that'd been good. But metal, they see die cast sticking out here. I'm not really into the mechanics. So I'm not going to talk about transformation and little stuff. I'm just talking about the look specifically. Um, I, I really thought to me, I think it's 2019, near, near the summer, the end of 2019, this figure came out, beginning of 2020, whatever. This was the best. I actually like when I looked at him. I thought he was better than Mortal Master, the fans' toys version of Mortal Master, uh, Road King. I, I thought his look was the best representation of a G1 character I've ever seen. This this guy right here. I, I thought he definitely was. Um, love the way he. He's my favorite. He's one of my favorite um, masterpieces. You know, he's he's top list. I'm top top three. Uh, I can even say three on that. This one's good. Um, the metallic versions, they really impressed me. I, I haven't, I'm not going to show the other ones in this video too much. Maybe a, maybe a peep here, peep there, but this is really about Silverbolt. Um, they surprised me. They the say there said, hey, let's paint these up. Let's give them a little more character, a little more look. And they really did. They, 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 if you see the other ones, when I do other videos on the other ones, you'll see that the paint on these look really good, especially the black paint on Air Raid, Skydive. I mean, I'm really impressed. Uh, compared to this guy's paint, compared to Fans Toys, it's not really the greatest comparison, but I can say that it's painted. These parts right here, I can't tell. I can tell some parts are painted. Some parts may be, a, it may have a coat or a gloss there. I cannot tell. Um, the thing that I caught about the look of this particular version of Silver Bowl Zeta Toys is that the eye doesn't look consistent. I mean, the eye in here, if you can see the eye, I mean, it looks like he's got a skinnier left eye. Of course, you'll see him on the right, but this is his left eye. It looks like it's just a little off to me. I don't know if it's indented more. When I look at it from a certain angle, it looks okay, but it looks like it's a, it may not even be dropping down like I think it is, but it look, when I show it close, you might it might look a little better than it does from a little distance. From a distance, it looks like, uh, from my point of view, it just looks a little indented. The left eye over the right eye. But other than that, maybe it is. Maybe it's a little, little off. Not really put in there, you know, flattened or whatever. But nonetheless, guy moves great. Guy looks great. We're not into the mechanics yet, but you know, sometimes I get ahead of myself. Um, but as far as the look of him, I still love this look. I like those legs better than those legs, you know, as far as the look. So, um, yeah, <laughs> you got to beat on that. Um, and this backpack, from what I remember, I didn't, I never had this uh, previously to the set I bought, but they always, people always complain about the backpack coming loose. But now it looks like it's, it, 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 it fits, it, it stays together a lot better than I think what it used to. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know I'm jumping ahead again. But the look of it, I am fine with the look. If I had actually got this first, I might have, <laughs> I still would have wanted, maybe if nothing else, I would still wanted this guy. But as far as the look is concerned and everything, I'm satisfied with both. Um, and I don't think having him first would have kept me from getting him, but it may have kept me from getting the rest. Because actually, honestly, I think fans' toys versions are too big. Go back to the look um, because we still got to fill out the look session for the alt mode. Um, when you talk about the looks of this, it's just based on personal preference. Um, the look here, um, it's it's is what you think. And I found out. I think I've mentioned it before. I might have put up a 
a, a quick card stating what this type of jet is. I think it's a Concorde. And I'll put up another car to give the actual what, what Silverbolt transforms into in the cartoon. Um, and uh, you, these styles are a little different uh, of this particular type of jet. Um, you know, this is longer. I mean, this is different. I mean, from the look of it, it's, it's a different color. Much uh, more grayish white, a, light, a lighter version of white. It looks like it's a gray tint to the fans toys version. Um, um, a beautiful jet. Uh, the look of it is just magnificent to me. Even the underbelly of it, you see the legs there. You can see some other parts extending part of his chest, but which is part of his arms. Um, th this, <laughs> this is this is miraculous to me. Uh, this this is a miraculous. Just looking at this figure, it's a miraculous um, transformation in bot, and it's just solid. It's just it's just beautifully painted. It's just. <laughs> It's just beautiful. And this is not knocking the Zeta Toys version. This wasn't meant to be the expensive heavy metal version um, that Fans Toys usually puts out. This was just meant to be budget friendly um, version. I have to get this down either off camera or I don't know how it popped up because it was doing just fine. Okay, there it goes. Um, yeah, this one is more grayish in its look. It's painted. You, I don't know if you can see it on my, on my uh, camera but it's still well painted um and it's it's nothing it's, it's nothing to to fault for it um the, the look of this is compact it's, it's a little bit different than what you've seen on the underbelly the arms on the side here they're more pressed together more pressed down um it, it, it's nothing to quibble about it is is really a great smaller version of the concrete and you know what it, this will just 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 fine the fans toys made did not make this jet which <laughs> would have saved me some money because i had to get it when i saw it but i've been just fine with these um and when i do the videos on the others real quick coming up uh, sooner or later um i've been just fine um they, these these do what they're supposed to do and they combine with a body with a body part um in, in, into legs and arms and feet um and that's fine. And I like the MMCs. I have them. Um, the MMC um, Combaticons. I actually have it standing up over to the left over here. I'm not going to move my camera to show it. But um, I like the all-in-one. It's a little smaller, but it's still it's still a worthy addition to any collection. But as far as this is concerned, getting back to just a look, um, nothing nothing to shame for it. It's, it's, they're, they're just great, um, both of them. You can't go wrong. Now the feel of these guys, when you get down to the feel of them, um, <laughs> there's a big difference. Um, it's obvious. Anyone that owns any Zeta will probably know that plastic is a little lighter. Um, the, the transformations are simpler. Um, you know, Fans Toys has always got the complicated transformations. Let's start with Zeta first, though. It's just, just as far as the feel of this guy and the weapon. And like I said, I don't get too far into the accessories. Uh, Zeta has these big accessories here. I'll just throw up real quick because it came in a set. Um, I may not, and maybe I'll do a Superion review one day, maybe I won't. But I missed it, you missed this thing. My Zeta doing a backflip right off of here. Wing thing came off, perfectly fine. But um, <laughs> hey, one thing you can say for the feel or anything, it's got some toughness to it. It didn't, it didn't bother at all. But yeah, like this uh, area, this, this place here, you know what I'm talking about, the, um, um, the, the companion um, part of for the combiner part where it puts all the pieces together with this. This came with the whole set. Metallic in the middle. If you've seen any of the other reviews, you see that. I just want to show one piece of it. Giant shoes. <laughs> Giant feet. But um, this came with that whole set. But um, as far as the, the feel of this, it's, it's, it feels good. It has a lighter plastic, lighter plastic, which you'll find on the fans tools. But um, as far as solid solidity, I think it feels, amongst all the Zeta area bots, it's probably the best feeling. It really feels um, solid. Like I said, it did a backflip off of here when I cut the video, and um, this came unlatched, but it went back just fine. No issues, um, no damage or marks that I know of. So to me, you know, durability is part of the feel. I think, it, I think it's great. I think you'll be happy with this set. 
Um, there's probably some a few blemishes here and there that just gonna happen to any any character that you have, but not many. You know, a few scratches here. Um, but the look and the feel of I mean the feel of this is 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 solid. No complaints. Does the job well. Combines well. When I, when I have it combined, which is rarely only combined it once. <laughs> Major difference feel wise. Um, this guy is solid. This guy feels like a hunk of metal. Um, <laughs> you can see metal all through its limbs. You see that? Um, down here in between the legs, doing the splits, doing the, what does he call it? The Van Dam and the Monty or whatever. And metal here, metal here, metal here. The whole frame is metal. It feels like a brick. Um, you know, it, it's just, fans towards man who can beat them i mean x trans bots <laughs> always talk about them you got your work cut out for you but you're the only can you're the contender if you do right all right let's go to mechanics as far as the feel on the alt modes it, it, it's, it's, it's no brainer won't take but a minute um <laughs> this feels fantastically better solid no once you get it together man you're not it's not too quickly coming apart I mean, you got this loose flap here. This is known. Uh, this this is actually less loose than this part. But my goodness, if you transform this thing right, and I, I'm gonna put up pictures during the transformation for the segment. I'm gonna put up pictures um, showing you just some little, you know, little pieces. It's nothing to quibble about, like I mentioned earlier. But this thing is, this thing is a wow. <laughs> just gotta give it a wow. Um, I can't give to make this segment quick to get done with. You know, make my videos quicker. I can't give this a wow as far as just the total feel of it because it can, you can kind of get into the mechanics of it when you talk about the feel of this. Um, the feel of this, this is, it doesn't really stay put together. There's a little piece here, a little connection piece here that you can uh, put to keep this fold out part for the engine, for the rocket blasters or whatever to connect to. But it's not as stable. It's not gonna just go anywhere. I mean, it's, it's stable. Oh, it's plenty stable enough, don't get me wrong. Um, but as far as, you know, look at this, this pops up all the time. It's just a wing section, how the wings fold down, I, which I think is still brilliant. I still think the way they elongated, you see it in the transformation, you'll see it in um, uh, maybe some pit, quick pictures I took, how this just folds up and has a little metal. This it does have die cast in it and, and it folds up and becomes just that backpack, which I think really folds up nicer than this backpack. Um, and you know, like I said, the materials aren't full die cast like the one on fan stores. But you know, except for just having to readjust the wings from time to time and stuff like that, it's still a fantastic figure. Um, I, I like it. Um, I, like I said, if this was made first and this wasn't made, I'd be okay. I'd be okay with it. Let's get back to mechanics. No major issue with the way these move. Um, uh, I guess I'll show the video after this about the transformations so we can talk about the jet modes real quick and how they look and feel. But I might have already thrown the, the look and feel parts of the jet mode already up earlier. So um, I don't like transforming these things a lot. So I take, I take it apart and put it back together the way I need to. Um, the mechanics of this, um, no issues. There is limitations on the mechanics. You know, this is only so far this is gonna go up. Um, I think it's the same for this side. Um, it, it's just, you know, for the fan toy version, it's got so much metal, it's got so much going on, but just the way it's engineered, you know, no issues for the most part. You get all you need out of it, no app crunch. You, you know, you get a little bit of a waste level, but so much is in the way. You might be able to get more if you move stuff out the way, but, you know, you, honestly, you know, I honestly don't care. Um, this was such a beautiful figure to me. Um, it could be have less, probably less maneuverability than this, and I would um, be okay with it. But I, I'm glad it does have some maneuverability. Um, but, you know, no issue. Some of these parts can even extend out more through the transformation. So, um, when you come to this one, you know, I think this one's gonna even be better. Um, I have not really messed around other than what you've seen. This can extend its arm points as well. As you see that point right there where it extends, it can extend as well plastic though not, not metallic but um it has just as much if you move this out the way it has just as much maneuverability i think the head on this one 
yeah, it's less limited. It, it really doesn't still have a lot of range, but it's less limited than fans toys in a sense um, because it doesn't have that part is not interrupting like this part here is interrupting with its head tilt up, but it still gives you a limited look up. And, um, yeah, uh, yeah, oh, look at that, look at that. Um, yeah, it's, it's got good me mechanics. Let's take a look at it does it too. Let's take a look at the uh, transformation real quick. <laughs> Okay, yeah, following transformation. Um, I did, actually, I, I thought there was quite a few things to talk about. Transformation itself was fine. Um, not not really major issues there. You just had to know the ins and outs of every figure um, to know how to position everything well um, to get it to the place where... The mechanics of this, I'm not going to say a whole lot. I'm not going to have a lot of pictures and a lot of circles of things. Um, basically, on some of my pictures, I showed you the underside as I was transforming them. Just to give you the alternate look of how uh, these look as you're transforming them, the, the parts that hang down, these arms. I mean, this character here, via mechanics, all it, it comes completely apart. These arms fold back up. You got to take this head is hid, hidden behind here, and you gotta uh, you gotta pretty much realign the whole chest, flip the chest out, flip the piece, and it's just I mean, it's just amazing how they did it, but. You, you see, this is all chest. This is all arm. And you just have to fold it out just right and re-situate it so the fists will come back out and you can replant, squeeze these connector pieces back into this chest part once you fold it all the way out. I, I think it's I think it's just amazing how they did that, man. It's just, I, to me, I'm, I still hold to what I said. Um, it, it's not a whole lot to say about the transformations of these, but I hold to what I said. This, to me, that year, Road King and Motor Master. I, Road King, you can't really contest that, but I'm going to say for my personal preference, this is the best figure I've ever seen yet, but I, I know I can be, hey, you don't have to agree with me. I don't blame you. Uh, you have your own personal picks. Um, this figure, and that's one of the reasons to say that I'm even doing this video because uh, that's uh, this is this is one of my faves. This is top three, like I mentioned before. Um, this one, oh, this is not even connected all the way up. I can get that later. It's not a big deal. I know it, I know it goes up. But um, mechanics-wise, I mean, for the alt mode, it's not a big deal. It's nothing to say. Um, it transforms, for the most part, great. This is a Zeta version. Um, there's nothing much to say here. Um, as far as this is concerned, this is more routine. This is more to the point. The chest part just folds up on both ends. The arms come up with it. They realign, they, they, they insert and they extend. You got the arms, you pull the legs out, it's, you know, combine wars type. Um, and the legs fold down, you flip it out and you got the legs and you just fold this whole top part up. And you got your bot moved back via mechanics. It's not gonna be as detailed on this as I would with, with some of the others. Um, uh, there's some, some ones worth mentioning. I'm sure uh, Combiner Wars or Legend Scales or Titans Return has their silver bolts. Um, I didn't, I, you know, I'm, I'm strictly masterpiece. I have, you know, I have personally no interest in anything, but you know, these figures, uh, it, uh, you know, God bless all the ones that want to invest in so many things and have them on the shelves and, or animate them. Um, they have a lot of fun with it. Whatever entertains you, it's what you go for. And that's, that's, a, that's all good. Um, but this concludes, I mean, mechanics is not much. Um, uh, this is the end of mechanics compared to the bot mode version of mechanics. Um, nothing much to say. Um, these guys go together pretty safely if you do it. You know, you watch the videos, follow the instructions. You're not going to have a lot of issues. Though I'm sure people have broken parts on these. It, I think as an experienced masterpiece transform, transformer collector, you learn not to move quickly. 
you, you learn to move slowly with your new figures. And nine times out of ten, I've got to say eight times out of ten, you're not going to break nothing unless you get a lock. So anyway, with that being said, you guys have a blessed uh, weekend. I hope this helps someone or just entertains someone uh, for the most part. Great figures. You can't go wrong with the set for Zeta Toys. Uh, next section is the price. Not going to say much there. Um, let's go forward. So I always go by fan toys. I mean, not fan toys. I always go by um, uh, Show Z when I order most of my stuff. I'm sure other places have different prices. So far, throw some picks up. Probably both at once. I'll throw them up. Um, just, you know, it looks like around 180, 175, 180. Um, it's going to change because they both are sold out, like a Show Z for fan toys and like around 135 or above for uh, the, Zeta, the Zeta version of Silver Bolt. That may not even be the metallic version. Um, that might just be the regular version. But you can get these guys, especially the Zeta ones, for fairly minimal prices. I believe, I believe they're both worth it. Um, I would I would buy the set for this. The set, um, let's show the, let's show a pic of the set. I believe the set has gone up because I paid 360 for it, but I believe I'm gonna throw a pic up here right now. It's for 450, um, at, and it's and it's available. Uh, and I believe it's the ZBO ZBO6, so that's the metallic version. Um, for 450, I got it for 360. I would still see if it would go down if I were you. That's up to you. 450 under 500 for a combining set that does a very good job of combining. They have very good combining parts. I'm not saying that's a bad deal. I say that's that's on your personal preference. But that's it for cost. Um, I'll leave you with a few segments for Silver Bowl. Silver Bowl, like I said, was um, one of my more favorite, um, not the favorite, the more favorite Autobots. Um, always optimist type attitude. Always trying to. Um, safely and wisely read his his crew so bless you on this sunday i mean not this Sunday, on this saturday and uh until next time uh, take care